think I'm tall enough for this. Okay. How you doing, everybody? Um, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me, okay? Um, jobs, so with the theme with the jobs. Uh, my job is I work with adult individuals with uh, autism. And incredible job. So there you go. Have a great job. Everybody's job doesn't suck. It's really great. <laughs> but it can also be very rewarding. It can also be very stressful. This story is one of the rewarding and sometimes stressful stories. Um, there's a guy that I work with. He's incredible. Um, his focus level is really, really small. You know, he's, he can't really focus very well. But the thing that um, I like about him is that he has a lot of quotables. You know, he'll listen to whatever you say, and if he thinks it's cool, um, it'll become a part of his vernacular. So somebody um, that he was with said, um, I'm just a fat old man. He just, <laughs> just, just a fat old man, and mannerism and everything. So my friend, he just walks around, he just keeps saying, I'm just a fat old man, I'm just a fat old man. <laughs> and you know, at home, that works, but we're at the YMCA, and we're in a locker room, and he's getting undressed. And I'm like, okay, man, let's go. And there's a gentleman there that just happens to be large and older. So my friend is just standing there, and he's just like, turn out. He's just a fat old man. He's just a, he's just a fat old man. I'm like, oh, come on, let's go. But, you know, he, he does it. Great. It's an endearing thing, you know, but you don't probably want to stare at a half-naked guy in the YMCA and, and comment on his age and the fact that maybe he's there at the Y for a reason. So... Um, Another thing that he does, he, he loves how Foster People, I don't know if anybody knows Foster the People here, um, Pumped Up Kicks, yeah. Woo! He loves that song. Um, so it's, it's great to sing that song, you know, when you're in a car and you're walking around. Uh, but when we're on a treadmill, um, you know, you're supposed to have headphones on and be mindful of everybody around you. My friend, you know, he'll be running, and everybody's quiet, we're all respectful. And he's out of nowhere and I have my eyes closed, and he's just like, oh, the little kid. Stop, stop, it's too loud. Everybody doesn't like Foster the People. Oh, the little, oh, I'm going to go over here. Now he says, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to whisper. But he whispers really loudly. And he also has issues with flatulence sometimes as well. So he'll be standing on the treadmill walking and singing, and then he'll just stop, and you just see him, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, that doesn't make it better. You know, you can't, you can't walk away from people, but that was my fault. I said, don't sing false to the people on a treadmill. I, had, I never said anything about letting gas out in the YMCA, so that was my fault. But this main story is about one of the favorite quotables that I have that everybody on this entire team says. Um, he says, it means nothing. I'm not going to say it means nothing to him, but what it meant to me in a certain situation happened to me means everything. And he says... What are you gonna do all the time? He just puts his hands up and he just says, you know, no, no, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like, uh, I like to ski, I, I need a job, what are you gonna do? And it's funny to me, I always laugh at it. He, so, right up there, you'll see a nice 2011 Kia uh, Forte Coupe. It's mine, I just bought it, it's great and I love it. Um, I had stopped working with him and I was on my way home and I'm at a red light and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat for dinner and this guy slams into me at a red light. I only had the car for three months. The whole back of the car is destroyed. I get out, the guy's like, oh man, I am so sorry. I was texting, dude, and I looked down and, oh jeez, I'm so sorry. And I looked at the car and I was just, and the guy just happened to be a fat man who was also older. And I immediately in my head thought, man, he's just a fat old man. <laughs> But then I looked at my car and I wanted to get upset and I, in my life I, I take things seriously a lot and, and I'm a writer and all these things and I'm always taking things very seriously but I looked at my car and it was destroyed and I put it on Facebook, it was done and I had to get a rental car for a week and I looked at the car and I looked at the guy and I just said, what are you going to do? <laughs> and I say that all the time now and everybody that works with him says it. It may mean nothing to the guy that I work with. It may just be something that he heard from somebody else. but. I remember that story and the vibrations of getting hit while at a red light, which apparently will make your insurance go up. You could be at a red light and your insurance will go up. I know, you're shaking your head, that sucks. It's horrible. Minding my own business, thinking about what I'm gonna eat, which was a cheese with fried onions and ketchup and a black and white milkshake. But my insurance went up, unbeknownst to me, because I was sitting at a red light. But that statement that he gave to me, what are you gonna do, is something that I take with me all the time. So sometimes when I'm late, and I'm supposed to meet my girlfriend somewhere, 
you know, what are you going to do, Rach? I'm sorry, what are you gonna do? it doesn't work with her. Or right there, it doesn't work with her. But everybody else, hopefully, and with you guys, if I'm ever late for something that you guys are doing, and I can say, what are you going to do? Hopefully that works for you guys. So, thank you.